Hey friends, today we're going to go over Adobe Commerce, formerly known as Magento's cost of ownership and overall pricing. My name is Joe McFerrin and I'm with IWD Agency. For the last 15 years, we've been helping hundreds of brands go live with their e-commerce storefronts and grow them online. If you need any help, if you just want us to assist your team, need some help with implementations or marketing, make sure to hit us up at iwdagency.com. Since Magento's inception, we've been working on this platform because that has been the most flexible platform that we've seen to help our customers. Now that it's powered by Adobe, they've been drawing a lot more attention and adding a ton of new features. So today we're gonna to go over the cost of ownership of Adobe Commerce. We'll start with the platform's cost, what's the difference between open source and commerce. The next we'll go over implementation of your solution and what would be the average price of this. Third, we'll go over the hosting cost. Fourth, we'll go over the extensions and apps cost that you would have. And lastly, we'll go over the cost of maintenance and upgrades. We also have ways to save over $30,000 with your Adobe Commerce implementation. So make sure to stay tuned for those. So let's start with Adobe Commerce's platform cost. There's two primary versions of Adobe Commerce. One is the open source version, which is completely free. And the second is the commerce version, which is their paid version. You can actually download the open source version right from their website completely free and get started. While Adobe open source version is very feature rich, the commerce version has a lot more functionality and tools to use. If you're a smaller retailer, open source might be something that you want to consider, but the commerce version is the one that is hands down a lot better and definitely worth purchasing if you're a larger company that's serious with e-commerce online. There's so many different features that commerce has to offer, including the B2B functionality, different types of dashboards, reporting tools, visual merchandising, the live search, Bopis, buy online pickup in store, gift cards, Adobe is hosting their cloud version of Adobe Commerce. So you don't have to worry about hosting, which we'll talk about later in this video as well. It also includes Adobe Commerce support. So this is one of the main things that you'll really want to pay for Adobe Commerce. If your site has issues, you can reach out directly to Adobe for support. And this is a huge help if you have some urgent issues with your store online. To talk a little bit about pricing. So the open source version, like I mentioned, is completely free to use. You will have to pay for hosting, but the commerce version is the paid version. And this version is going to be different depending on how large of a merchant you are. For example, if Walmart is using their Adobe Commerce solution, it's going to be a lot more expensive than Bob's grocery store, right? So there will be different tiers. It starts around $20,000 and goes up from there. The pricing is pretty comparable to other platforms as well. But if you sign a longer contract with Adobe Commerce, they'll also give you a break. And at IWD Agency, we have a rebate that's up to $30,000. So if you come to us for your commerce needs, we can give you up to $30,000 that can go toward your licensing costs for Adobe Commerce as well. The next area to talk about is the implementation costs. So I'll go through this implementation kind of a life cycle real quick. So you have a little bit of a gauge of what is involved with the implementation. First, you'll go through a discovery and solutioning phase. This is where you gather all your requirements, kind of exactly what you want to have built for your store. It's kind of a roadmap of your e-commerce system and what kind of features and functionality that you think is important. After this, you go through user interface design, UX UI design. And then from there, once you have the design done for desktop and mobile and all your different devices, then you go into front-end development. This is when front-end developers start coding the site based upon the mockups that the designers created. And they try to create these as pixel perfect as possible for every different size device. And then after that is when you start with doing integrations as far as your ERP systems and other types of systems that your e-commerce site needs to talk to. This phase can be done the same time as your front-end development to help speed up time and so you can go live a bit quicker as well. After that is when you start going through the store configuration, you set up all your payment processing, shipping, taxes, transactional emails, all the things that need to happen so your store functions properly online. The next step is when you move your site from development environment to a staging environment. And this is when you start really doing some heavy testing on the site. You start doing the browser testing for the different devices on different types of web browsers as well. And you make sure to try to almost try to break the site. You do different types of stress tests on the site to make sure it doesn't break when you go live. And then the last step is to go live. The reason I talk about all these different steps is because it is an intensive process process and it does take a lot of time and money. Implementation like this generally starts between fifty dollars and $100,000 and goes up from there depending on the complexity of your project. At IWD Agency, we have a unique approach to this to cut down on the cost of these implementations because we've done so many of them. We've been able to find ways to save our clients time and money on these implementations. Basically, our express package, if you think about it as a house, it's the foundation. We try to build a solid layer that clients can build and customize on top of it. What we do here is we use Adobe's 
e-commerce layout and we customize it based upon your brand. We set up all the banners and we design those up to six different banners for the different home pages and category pages that you might need banners for. We also will set up all your store configurations. We do a basic SEO setup and we include some of our primary extensions as far as the checkout optimization and an order manager to help optimize your store out of the box. From here, you can customize everything that you want. Plus, Adobe Commerce is so feature rich that this a lot of times is all people need to go live. This helps speed up adoption and helps speed up your timeline so you can get online faster and start making some money. The next area to talk about is the hosting cost. If you're using Adobe Commerce, you don't really have to worry about this as much, but if you're using the open sources, this is where you have to find your own hosting solution. And I wanna stress a little caution here. There's a lot of hosting providers that you can go to that don't know Adobe Commerce well enough to optimize their servers for it. Adobe Commerce is a very feature rich, functionality rich system, but also means it takes a heavy load on a server. There are hosting solutions that are specialized in this. The hosting costs can range from $80 a month all the way up to thousands of dollars a month. It depends once again, how big your storefront is and how much traffic it has. So if you have a million SKUs and you have a million visitors a day, you're gonna need a lot bigger server than if you have 10 SKUs and 10 visitors a day. Once again, we can help advise you on this. If you need any help with this, just make sure to hit us up. The next area we'll talk about as far as cost goes is Adobe Commerce's extensibility. There are a lot of apps and extensions that you can add to your storefront. This is another area that I'll raise caution on is you do not want to add too many apps to your store out of the gate. While they are great for your store if you need the functionality, they also make your storefront more complex for upgrades down the line. Where you'll want to go browse different apps is the marketplace at magento.com. They have a ton of extensions that add a lot of different functionality to your store. There's a lot of free extensions that you can add to your store as long as you use the service that's provided with them. So there's a lot of integrations for payment processors, connections for your ERP systems, connections to Facebook or Stripe or MailChimp. There's also a ton of other extensions that range in different prices. One extension that I want to give a quick shout out to is one that we built. It's called Dominate. It's a checkout optimization tool. Plus it has subscription engine built into it. We've been able to bring this to the marketplace completely for free. So this is one of the areas that Adobe Commerce lacks a little bit in the checkout process. This helps optimize the checkout process for quicker conversions. It also allows you to have subscription products on your Adobe Commerce site out of the box. The other cost that you want to make sure you consider is maintenance and upgrades. As your store gets more complex, you get more apps, then it's harder to maintain it and upgrade it to the next version. So about 20% of your initial budget should go to upgrades once a year to have the latest version of Adobe Commerce and to make sure you have all the latest security patches. This is something you want to make sure you budget for. If you don't upgrade your system, you won't have all the latest features of Adobe Commerce, but also your security of your site will drop dramatically. This last slide I want to talk about real quick is be careful about what agency you pick. A lot of developers are out there that are not Magento certified. So if they build your store for you, it may take twice as long. Plus it could be built not correctly. So you have a lot more bugs and it's harder to upgrade. Make sure you find a certified developer or a certified agency. Adobe Commerce, once again, is super feature rich, but also means it's super complicated in the code. So you want to make sure you go with a team that knows what they're doing. In general, if you're going to go with a freelance developer, you'll pay between 50 and hundred dollars an hour for a certified Magento developer. And if you go with the agency, you'll pay between 100 and 200 dollars an hour. Agencies typically are more proficient because they have a team of developers that specialize in different areas. And if they run into an issue, they have team members that they can lean on to get help and move through that issue quicker. Other things that you want to consider is, are you going to do the project management yourself? Are you going to do the design yourself? All those factors will add up. This is something you want to take in consideration when you're building your team. That's a basic overview review of Adobe Commerce pricing. If you have any questions, please hit us up. We're always happy to help. Every e-commerce store is different and every company has different needs. So we can help strategize and make a solution that's perfect for you. All right. See you guys next time.